Good morning, my brothers and sisters, coming to you once again from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. Got a little bit of rain here yesterday. I know the other parts of the country are getting quite a bit of rain, especially in the Florida area. But praise God that uh, he has a plan that includes watering the earth and taking care of these things. And even though sometimes it's uh, certainly more than we want, uh, God does have plans and he takes care of all things. And so we give him the praise. Our word of encouragement today comes from Matthew chapter 5, beginning at verse 43. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemies. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. You know, as I think about these words, I'm reminded of the fact that in this world today, uh, we are being trained, often taught, uh, to hate our enemies. Uh, that's the way of the world. If someone is against us, um, then uh, we want to do everything we can against them. In fact, in our world today... Uh, I would say that we've even kind of lost some of the freedom of having our own thoughts. It seems that um, for many out there, many in the media or, or whether things are portrayed is that they want to say, uh, I am free to believe what I believe. But if you don't believe what I believe, then we are against you. Um, and that's not uh, the intention of freedom. True freedom means that we love one another. And God's freedom is that we love one another. And what does that mean for us? It means that we don't have to agree with everyone's actions. It doesn't mean that we support their actions. What it means, though, is that we, have, we recognize that they are a child of God, and therefore we're going to love them, even if they want to hurt us, even if they want to, to persecute us. Our desire, our hope, our goal is that they would come to know Jesus in a saving way, that they would find his love, uh, and therefore we are called to love them. I certainly want to, to love on people uh, who, who, who love me. Everybody wants to say that, but I also want to know how to love people who, who don't love me me, how to, to reach out to them and how to, to be a witness for them. Uh, Jesus was the ultimate ex example of loving on people who would sometimes hate him and would eventually crucify him. Um, and that includes us. I mean, I know that we weren't physically there, but it's our sin that put him on the cross, our desire to, to crucify the ways of righteousness uh, in a sense that has put him on the cross. And yet in God's love, he has forgiven those who would ex receive or accept his forgiveness. Uh, God's done the work. The question is, will we accept it? Uh, and so today, I just want to encourage you to love those who might be against you. Uh, instead of uh, trying to fight back, instead of trying to figure out what to say, instead of trying to argue or, or those things, let's just try to love as Jesus loved. Uh, we can be firm in our faith. Um, we can love one another. We don't necessarily have to support their lifestyle or what they do or the things that are in disagreement with the, the, the righteousness of God, uh, but we can still love them and we can still treat them with respect and, and we treat them with honor um, as children of God. And we can just simply ask God to use us to to reach out and to, to penetrate the, the hearts of those who, who need that penetration. So uh, today, I just again want to encourage you to, to love those around you, whomever you come in contact with. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this reminder that we are not of this world, that your ways are not the ways here. And so, Lord, we pray that you help us to love those who would hate us, love those who would persecute us, love those who may even seek uh, to, to kill us or, or take us out. But, Father, uh, we're grateful that you are God and that your love uh, was greater, much greater than the, than the hatred or the sin that was in our life, uh, that because of Jesus Christ and his death on the cross, that we have eternal life. And so, Lord, we thank you for that, and we want to learn to love one another. Help us, Lord, to love those we come in contact with today. There may be those who are having bad days or taking it on us. Uh, we're not sure what the case will be. But, Father, we pray you'd help us to, to show the love of Christ. And may your love penetrate whatever's going on in their hearts. Uh, Father, we just thank you for all that you're about to do. Please bless those who need a special blessing today. Be it physical, mental, emotional, financial, even spiritual, whatever the case. Bless them right where they're at, that they might be open uh, to your word and to your love. And, Father, we might be a part of kingdom growth. Father, thank you again for all that you're about to do. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, there you have it. God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful day. I know it's not easy to love those around us, but let's do it because God first loved us. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.